Hello and welcome to the show. In this week's episode, we're going to take a look at the SparkFun Lithium Polymer USB Battery Charger. It's an all-in-one module that you can connect a battery to, your project to, and external power to, and make your project run similar to a laptop configuration with uh, the power, the battery permanently connected, and everything seamless. So let's take a look around the board. So the actual boards themselves are designed to take a barrel jack input. This is a 2.1 millimeter positive center pin barrel jack. It's fairly standard. This is a mini USB, also fairly standard. Uh, there are a couple of diodes, so reverse polarity diodes. There is a small LED up here which indicates that the charge is going through to the battery and there are a couple of pins that you can break out uh, an external LED if you want a larger uh, indicating LED. There are two 2.5mm pin pitch um, breakouts to go towards the systems out so this is where you would run your actual internal components of your project and the battery in uh, again, you've got two 2.5mm breakout pins there, and you've got two JST connectors also. But the uh, only thing to note about these is they're 2mm JST connectors. Um, most batteries, just like this one here, come with a 2mm JST connector on them already. So that will match very, very well with this. Also on the board, we have a selectable... Uh, via solder or via cutting a selectable um, charge rate. So this particular board out of the box is rated at 500 milliamps. So it'll do a half, hour, half amp charge out of this JST pin to your battery. Um, what you can do is just here, this is the selector that you can use to choose a 100 milliamp charge rate or a 500 milliamp charge rate. 500 milliamps is the default. So these two are actually joined already, very, very fine joiner. You can see just in that join bracket right there. And that means that this will charge at 500 milliamps by default. If you want 100 milliamps, you cut this join just here and you join these two pads together and you'll get a 100 milliamp charge rate. If you want a 600 milliamp charge rate, solder a bit of solder over all three pins and you'll get a 600 milliamp charge rate. But what you can also do, and I've done one here already, is cut this gap here, which I've already done, and solder in a resistor of your choosing. So I've got a 1000 ohm resistor here to give a, in this case, a one amp charge out of this systems out pin. So we'll just take a look at the uh, formula that they use. So that's the formula that they use to be able to select the resistor value here. And because this is a microchip integrated circuit, um, this is a, a proper IC charging circuit to be able to charge your single cell lithium ion or lithium polymer battery through this jack here, uh, that will give up to 1.5 amp charge rate. So using these two connectors you can put up to 6 volts through that jack and up to 6 volts through this mini USB um, at whatever amperage you like and you'll get a 1.5 up to 1.5 amp charge rate out of this microchip into the JST connector charging up your battery. So in my case for my next project I'll actually be using a nice big 4 amp hour lithium ion battery and I've set uh, one of these boards already to a 1 amp hour charge rate and that's so that I can charge that big battery in 4 hours and I've got a switch mode power supply here this one's a 5 volt 4 amp supply and it fits that barrel jack perfectly so I'll be putting 4 amps through this board and I'll be putting 1 amp charge rate uh, into the battery when there's mains power or external power connected and I'll be able to get 4.2 volts out of the systems out pin at whatever amperage I've got available, the battery and the external power.
Okay, so just demonstrating how the board's used. I've got a two amp hour battery hooked up to the battery connection point, and I'm going to just meter the uh, system's out pin, just to see what sort of output you get from that. Multimeter's hooked up to volts, and I can just use these two um, pins here. Make it easy. And there we go, we get 3.8 volts, which is the output voltage of that battery. So if we hook up mains power or external 5 volt power, there we go. Now that is actually providing current to the battery and charging the battery at the maximum half an amp. So if we just now measure those two pins, as you can see we're getting a slightly higher voltage and that will be the maximum of 4.2 volts once that battery is fully charged. It doesn't matter if you're putting 5 volts in, you'll only ever get 4.2 volts out of the output pin, but there's no limit on amperage from what I can tell. Okay, so from there, I'll just hook up this big DC motor and I'll set the meter to measure the current and we'll just have a look at the current that's actually going through. Okay, so as you can see and here, here I've got the battery hooked up, that will be receiving um, half an amp charge rate. The board is powered externally. I've got the systems out driving this big DC motor and as you can see it's pulling about 0.7 of an amp. If I grab hold of that terminal, pretty easy to jump that up to a two, two and a half amp draw and the board's still providing power. Um, I'll back it off a little bit. There you go, about two amps. So that is providing two amps output to this DC motor, rather hungry powered motor, and still providing half amp charge rate to that board. So that particular that board there, as long as I'm pumping in enough amperage, the board will uh, power my project and charge the battery that's inside the project at the same time. So there you go, a quick walk around the SparkFun USB lithium polymer charger. I think it's Spark Fun, Spark Fun product number 12711. So just quickly, two inputs, up to six volts, two JST two millimeter pins out, uh, the ability to put 2.5 four millimeter pins uh, instead of those JST two mil ones, uh, the ability to run an external LED for charge indications, and the ability to either select a 100 milliamp charge rate, a 500 milliamp charge rate, or using the program pin header there and a custom resistor uh, at any charge rate up to 1.5 amps. Not a bad little board, I'll be using a few of those in upcoming projects. I hope you found this little review useful. So thanks very much for joining me and watching the show. Subscribers are always welcome so feel free to subscribe, that would be great. And I hope you'll join me again next week.